Earlier this week, Tesla released the fully self-driving beta to owners in Canada. The new software is a level 2 semi-autonomous driving feature, which means the vehicle can drive itself with some assistance from the driver. A Kelowna resident is among a group of drivers in Canada who has the software installed in his Tesla and says the vehicle handles a number of driving maneuvers including city street auto steering, reacts to stoplights and signs, as well as yielding to pedestrians. I'm still, you know, every day after work I take it for a little spin to different areas around town to kind of challenge it to see what it, it, it'll do. Um, so far I've seen it do great stuff around really uh, uh, well-defined lines, so the highways and stuff like that, it works really well. Um, I'm finding little edge cases around uh, cities or around city streets where maybe the lines aren't painted or there's a weird intersection with weird angles. Um, but all of that gets sent to Tesla. Uh, if you uh, notice anything that it reacts in a way that uh, isn't safe or a way that you think should be fixed, uh, there's a button on screen that you can just tap and it, it sends all the information that the cameras collect as well as the inputs like the steering, the braking and stuff like that. Um, and within two weeks, uh, hopefully it gets fixed. While the system is impressive and filled with new features, the software can glitch at times when entering an area it is unable to read, prompting the driver to take over. What I've noticed is that it breaks probably more than what you would want. Uh, so it, it is very cautious. There are times where it will try to do kind of the wrong maneuver. So for instance, like a left turn at an intersection where it might be a, a double lanes on one side, it'll maybe accidentally take the wrong lane on the left turn, so the outside lane. Um, or if it is just doing something like a roundabout that it's not sure of, it might uh, do something that's a little weird, it might stop when it shouldn't be. Um, so you can just take over by either grabbing the steering wheel very lightly or just tapping on the brake. The cost of the technology is $10,000 and can be purchased when the car is bought or any time after. A safety test conducted by Tesla is also required when purchasing. And while technology is close but not yet fully autonomous, Calder believes eventually Tesla will get there in the near future. I still think we're more than a few years off of that, but the progress that they've made so far, um, just in the last uh, year that it's been rolled out in the United States and, and uh, from what I hear from other users, is that uh, the iterative process is really quickly. Um, and I think just personally, it will hit a point where it is as safe as a human pretty soon, and then we'll get even safer. Victoria Famia, Castanet News in Kelowna.